Welcome to another GigaPros video. We're going to show how to assemble a dual desktop probing system. They'll have two probes in this probing system that can be used with TDR or VNA instruments to make differential impedance S parameters. This will be a complete assembly demonstration video. All of the components will come in a rugged storage case. It contains PCB holders for holding the PCB in place. You will have two uh, DVT FP60 for holding the probes, a DVT FP100 that will hold our cameras, and a dual probe kit called the DVT 40-1mm. And there'll be an accessory box to hold our accessories, including cameras and other components. First thing we'll do is remove our DVT-SM holders. This, uh, these are magnetic-based uh, PCB holders that you unscrew the top that you can insert the PCB in place. They come in segments so you can lower them. Now we're going to show you how to assemble the desktop probing system. First we'll put a PCB down and two magnetic holders on a metal plate. And we'll loosen the caps to create a gap to insert the edge of the PCB. And we'll put them in there and rotate it down to hold it in place. We'll put another PCB holder in down to secure another corner. Now to keep the probes from slipping off the test pads, we'll place two PCB holders on each probing areas where the pads are. Next we're going to assemble our camera system. It comes in three components. It's got the camera, adapter, and the DVT FP100 positioner. We will install the camera backwards through the adapter, the USB connector first. And then we'll tighten the screw to secure the camera. Next we'll take the assembly with the dowel and we'll put the dowel in the end of the DVT FP100 and tighten the screw. We put the camera assembly down and point the camera at the probing location. We'll take out the second DVT FP100 camera positioner and put that down. And then we're going to take the DVT FP60 straight arm positioner and put that down in place and line that up with the differential trace. There's a flange with the screw hole underneath the DVT-40 that we're going to place in between the adapter on the end of the DVT FU-60. To attach the DVT-40 probe to the adapter, we'll put a screw through the flange and the adapter and tighten it down with an Allen screw. Next, we're going to take the second adapter and the second camera and hold them with both hands. And then we're going to take and push the camera backwards through the adapter and then once it's through then we're going to tighten the screw down to keep the camera in place. Next we'll push the dowel into the end of the DVT FP100 and tighten. Now we're going to point the second camera to the second set of test pads. Next, place the second DVT FP60 in line with the second set of test pads on the trace to be probed. Take out the second DVT40 Giga Pros and remove the protective plastic cover. Remember, keep these plastic covers on the probes to prevent them from being damaged when the probes are not in use. Next, push the flange under the second DVT-40 probe between the adapter on the end of the DVT-FP60. To secure the DVT-40 probe to the adapter, push the Allen screw between the adapter and the DVT-40 hole in the flange and tighten. Next, we're going to focus the camera on each probing location. Point each camera in the direction of each of the probes that are making contact with the test pads. Insert each camera USB connector to the PC. Run the software and create a window for each camera display. To focus the image, use the thumb controls inside the camera and the controls on the FP100. To measure S4P S-parameter measurements, attach the ground collar to the end of the DVT probe. 
Using two DVT-40 probes with ground collars provides a ground path for each of its two probe tips to acquire both odd and even waveform measurements. With two probes we can measure a full four-port differential S-parameter of this transmission line. Setup complete! minute you are ready to go from storage case to complete multi-mode measurements. The following image shows the complete Gigaprobe's DVT-40 dual probe system assembled with item numbers for each component. The complete system can be ordered in a rugged storage case. Please contact us if you want any more information at sales at gigaprobes.com.